we're back. Um, this is the place I went to the last time as well. Today is my day off. Um, the sun is out, it's really hot, so I brought some cold beers, I brought my saw, and I'm not gonna make a fire, but I brought a table plate um, and some carving material and some coffee and some uh, some dry food. Um, so it's my day off. I'm gonna spend it here at the beach with you. Um, this is for procuring, uh, harvesting, getting. This is for cutting down a tree. Um, come on. Um, um, we need to cut down um, a piece of tree, a piece of wood, um, to make the legs, uh, the legs for um, for my table. Um, last time I made a joke that um, I needed to get a baton in here, but maybe they were sold out. Um, same forest, lots of wood. Um, but today I'm not sure if getting a piece of dead wood would be the best or getting a piece of uh, green wood would be the best. The green wood is much easier to carve, uh, to cut, um, but, but taking down a, a tree for this is um, is something I think about all the time. Look at the scenery and the sun. This is perfect. Perfect conditions. Um, and no box yet. I splashed myself with box spray because I hate box. I particularly hate mosquitoes. So we're just gonna go in here and see if we can find a nice piece, a straight piece. Uh, there's some nice firewood here as well. Come check this out. If we should go here some other time, this is solid and dead. Let me get in frame. Solid and dead. Nice firewood. But and there's one more over there. But we're not here to get firewood today. We have to get a piece of wood for the legs for the table. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Spider web. I'm not sure if if this is live. Nope, this is dead. We're gonna take this, but it has a long plant growing on it. But we're gonna take this. <laughs> so piece of wood um, and the, the beach is empty so that's awesome I was thinking about um, what what could what, what should we call it um, I was thinking that uh, a great place calls for for great traditions Wow um,
There's a girl up the beach. Focus. And she's walking her horse. Hmm. And ponies? A big a, a big black horse and two ponies. Well. The beach is not empty, but almost. Yep. So, a great place calls for great traditions. So, I found a tree um, some months ago, um, and I had an ice cold beer up there. I think we're gonna do that again. Just sit, relax. Before setting up camp and everything, just have a beer. So I'm just gonna go and take you along with me. Um, yeah, let's go. Oh yeah. We made, we made it up, um, hoping that you can hear me. Um, I can't see the, the mic levels on the screen from up here, but uh, I was a bit uh, uncertain about this piece of, of wood right here because it has been very, very dry in Denmark the last couple of months. This piece of tree right here has, has almost broken off. Um, from the last time I was here, I think. But, um, like I told you, um, a great scenery calls for great tradition. So, if I go here, I think the first pier is, is gonna be here. So, if you're watching, cheers. If not, cheers, Dan. Thank you. Can you see it? Just like I planned it. <laughs> Note to self, uh, when beer camping in the tree, bring a helmet. Um, The tree is dropping acorns, uh, big ones. Um, cheers, and I'll see you later. It's good to be back, but the beer was great. Um, I don't know if the last thing made it on video, um, but a huge, huge um, wood wasp or tree wasp uh, came up the tree and into my face. So uh, I slapped it um, and ran. I don't know this. There are bugs in the air, but not not mosquitoes. They, it's 
wasps. Don't know what they're doing here, but yeah. A guy told me in the radio on the way down here that due to this hot weather that we've been having in Denmark, um, the wasps in uh, August and September are gonna be uh, 300% more uh, in, in numbers and more aggressive than than they, than they normally would. So, looking forward to that. I brought my loudspeaker today. My sister gave me this. Um, normally, I don't listen to music, but once in a while, while drinking coffee, this is nice. Thanks, sister. Go. I had planned for for this piece to become the legs of my table discs. So to decide the length, I just cut a piece. Uh, and triple it. One, two, uh, and three. Bam, son. Joe Robin had term. Sorry. It just works. So, um, my Castrum Woodsman, fresh from the strap, uh, 20 strokes on the one side and the other side, and then 20 strokes uh, switching sides. Um, I didn't think that it was gonna. I'm my first time stropping ever, so. I mean. It takes hair off my arm, so um, I'm going to shave these so they fit in these holes. 
Uh, these are pre-drilled. I'm lazy. Um, I use these tables all the time, so I bring the discs and I make the legs. So that's what we're gonna do. I always teach my son to make sure that that you remove your feet or your legs from the where from the path of, of the knife. Need to remember that sometimes myself. By the way, this is very sharp. Just a few more strokes. And that's one. Two more to go. Done. Well, table is done, um, time to take off the shoes, full of sand. Normally, when I go on these trips, um, I make a fire uh, or I bring my wood stove. Um, not today. Um, today, and in these conditions, um, uh, making a fire is, is, is not good. So, MSR, MSR Isopro, MSR uh, Pocket Rocket. I've never had one of these before, never. Uh, it was turned on, um, and now it's not. Uh, when mounting this, this says nothing. So, um, I've never tried this before. First time today. Brand new. Um, this is not bushcrafty, but I'm not a bushcraft. Um, I like to to go hang out. I like to go camping, uh, and I like to to cook food in the forest. But coffee on this one today.
take off the knife when you're going in the hammock. So the coffee just needs a minute or two for the coffee grime, coffee powder um, to settle down. Um, maybe a, a minute. It's maybe a minute is overrated. Let's have a look. Oh yes. <laughs> So, not a lot of hammock video today. If you've seen my last video, I ramble on about a lot of stuff in the hammock, but today is my day off. Um, wanted to show you my my new place for a great place calls for a great tradition, a Scotsman would say. But, um, not me. Um, just want to show you my my place for having my my beach beer um, and today is coffee and spending time uh, in the nature um, I brought my cell phone I'm actually even considering taking a nap. Uh, if only I could find a place to sleep. It's a hammock joke. Well, enough about that. My coffee, my time. Uh, I'm gonna get back to you for lunch. Uh, I brought something funny, but. Oh, funny, funny, not funny, but uh, still funny. But I'll see you later. So a few hours went by. Um, I spent some quality time in Mr. Hammock, Mr. Hammock, my hammock. Uh, I drank all my coffee. This is the last cup. Um, and I'm I'm not hungry, not yet. Um, I have to leave here at uh, half past two. That's in three and a half hours. So. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, oh, I know. <sighs> Sorry about the the interruption, but um, a man has to do what a man has to do. Uh, it's about cause and effect. You drink. A beer you have to take a leak so I had to go and um, get this same beer as last time but it's cold um, it's perfect tasting um, and it's it's my day off so what else to do um, Hang here.
and drink a beer. There's a lot of wasps in the air today. Uh, I don't. I'm not. I'm not fond of wasps. Let's let's just leave it with that. Uh, I don't hurt animals, never. But um, wasps and mosquitoes and those small flies when you have a, a rotten piece of fruit. Uh, in in Danish they're called banana flies. Um, those I kill. I hate those. Um, otherwise, I'm a big fan of not harming any animals whatsoever, but wasps, mosquitoes, and banana flies. They they just gotta go, man. So, just gonna chill here, have this, and I'll get back to you when it's it's time to cook lunch. Um, the view here is is bad, really bad. Uh, uh, I'm not even sure that that you're gonna like it, but I'll show you anyways. This place is perfect, absolutely perfect. A lot of wasps. What the heck? I brought these um, for something to tell you later. Uh, so I'll get back to that as well. But for now, I'll see you in a bit. I know. I was supposed to show you my lunch. But um, I cooked it, so I heated up some water, and uh, now I'm setting the mood for eating lunch. Um, we have a bit of music from Forrest Gump. I know I'm a big movie sucker. Kill me, but my day off. I decide. I am having spaghetti bolognese uh, from Blue Bun. Uh, it's a, a dry food company. Um, you can get it in, in town where I live. Uh, the last beer. And yesterday my wife she made uh, uh, pizza bread. Pizza bread? Yeah. Uh, I, I already took a bite. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but this is what I'm having. Uh, and of course, eating in the hammock um, with a bit of music today. I know. Um, my day off, my lunch. <laughs> I love this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna film eating lunch. I did a lot of small clips for you today, so um, I'm having my lunch, I'm having my beer, and then I'm packing home, packing, packing up, and going home, picking up my kids. Um, yeah, I hope that, that I can eat my lunch without having to fight off 2,000 wasps, but. Um, we'll see when I open it. So, thank you for joining me today. Uh, no, I have one more thing to show you. Uh, I eat my lunch, and I'll show that. Show you. I will show you that in a moment. So, see you. So, the last thing that I wanted to show you before ending this video was. Um, the guys at Kestrom Knives in Sweden uh, have been helping me out, and um, when the when the summertime is over and the fall uh, camping and winter camping starts to come, uh, and they lift the fire ban in Denmark, um, I thought about doing a bit of carving. Uh, my bag is big enough so I can bring a piece of wood uh, packed 
um, to go. Um, and carving is a brand new thing for me, so I have never done it before. Um, but I, I know uh, I know a very very talented carver called uh, Heino, and he will help me out. Uh, I'm just gonna ask him uh, where to start and what materials to use and uh, take it from there. Um, my original idea was to start uh, carving uh, just a cookster or a cup or a mug uh, for coffee. Um, so that's my idea, but what I wanted to show you was this. So this is my Grenfell Brooks uh, outdoor axe and my Hulteforce uh, Hulton hatchet. Um, both very, very, very strong and sharp axes. Um, but the reason why I'm showing the, you the reason why I'm showing you this um, is because they would work great for stock removal. Um, for when we are gonna start the carving process. Uh, I don't have an, a carving axe or something else, but I'm thinking that these two will, will do the job. Um, and the next thing is this. Let's see if this table will stand. Uh, otherwise I'm just gonna hold it with my legs, but... Um, this is the new spoon knife from Castrum. Um, I'm not going to touch this because this is beyond sharp. Uh, this is so sharp that I can carve an, uh, uh, the number 8 out of a piece of paper. Um, so I'm not going to touch this because uh, I might injure or cut myself. But it's absolutely razor sharp. Um, um, and this is the Castrum carving knife. Uh, small piece of sharp, sharp, sharp metal um, on a small scanty grind. This is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, I've tried this just a few times before um, making some small woodwork in the forest but this uh, will also go in my carving bag um, and this the the woodsman that I was using today um, this is razor 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 sharp um, so this will be my whittling my carving my toolkit um, for the for the cold winter nights to come um, and project number one will be carving a cookse. I have no idea where to start. Um, but I think that that, uh, that Heino can teach me how. Um, it can't be that difficult. So, some carving in the winter and the fall coming up. Um, and I'm not a craftsman. Not at all. So I hope that I can at least produce something. But thanks for joining me today. Um, and I'll see you later in the next one. Bye.